Welcome to the A Arena tutorial session on data collection, where we're going to show what it is, why it's important, and how to use it properly. So to start, you'll probably notice a red outline around your fighter. Now this is actually telling your model not to pay attention to what you do. So if I start jumping around and moving side to side, the model is actually not going to be paying attention to this, and so it's not going to learn this. And so to actually get it to start paying attention, we have to turn on data collection at the top left corner over here. So once we turn it on, we're going to see a blue outline around our fighter and we can actually start doing stuff and your model will pay attention. So if I run to the right over here, your model will know from this scenario, I want you to start running to the right. And if I turn it back off and I run to the left, your model is going to ignore that. So as far as your model is concerned, all you did throughout this training session was start off here and run to the right and that's it. And this is very important if you want to get into a specific scenario and show your AI what to do from that scenario. Now let me give you an example so it's more concrete. Let's say that you want to show your model how to get back on stage. If you were collecting data all the time, what would happen is you would have to jump off stage and then jump back on stage. But from the model's perspective, it's saying, okay, when I'm near the edge, jump off and then jump back on, which can be a pretty dangerous thing to do. So what you want your model to do is ignore the part when you're jumping off and only paying attention to when you jump back on. And that's where data collection comes very important, where essentially you're on red, i.e. your model's not paying attention. Once you get off stage, turn it on and then jump back on stage. Now, of course, if you had to manually click this button every time, it can get pretty hard to, to do properly. So of course, we have keyboard shortcuts and button shortcuts. On the keyboard, you click at the right shift key and on the controller, you click the logo button. Now I'll show you what I mean. So let me jump off stage, and then I'm gonna turn data collection on and then jump back on stage. Just like that. I'll do it again. And that's how you show your model basically how to get into a scenario where you want it to ignore up until that point. And then once you're in that scenario, start paying attention and get back on stage. Now you'll also notice that both times that I did that, I was facing away from the stage. And another important concept in data collection is balancing your data set. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to face your stage now and show it the same thing. We're going to do it twice and boom. So now it knows how to get back on stage both when you're facing away and when you're facing the stage. Now you'll also notice that I only did it on the left side. And so if you want to truly balance your data set, you're going to want to have to go to the right side and do the exact same thing. So I'll just do it a few times in both directions. Now we balance our data set. And this is very important because if we don't balance our data set, then your AI is going to learn a skewed policy, right? It's only going to know what to do in certain scenarios. I, if we only showed it what to do on the left side of the stage, it's only going to know how to get back on stage from the left side. And so we also needed to show your AI how to get back from the right side. Again, these AIs can't read your mind, so you have to be very specific in what you show it. And that's data collection in a nutshell. 